All right, everybody. So from those of you that know guns, you guys can probably pick out that this is a Smith & Wesson box without the gun. But you can also tell from the magazines that it's a 1911. Oh, sorry about that. And here it is. Smith & Wesson 1911 TA. It is the Series E Tactical Edition, so it has the Picatinny rail. It's a newer model. And that was my dog. <laughs> It's the newer model, so it has the fish scale serrations for on the slide, and it also has uh, some of that pattern on the grips, which really blends in nicely. These grips are real rich, nice looking, and uh, good grip to them. We got the rear stippling back here. Um, I think it's like 110 stipples per inch or something like that. I forget. Probably shouldn't even said it, but you also got on the front, you got a chamfered or beveled magwell, however you want to say it. Like I said, Picatinny rail. You got the... <laughs> Coco! Coco? No? Alright, bye-bye. <laughs> she normally listens. We got the uh, Novak Night Sights here, which are really cool. Um, I pulled this out of the gun case at the range. When I don't think we shot for at least a day, and it's all inside. This thing never really sees uh, the light of day. But the Novak Sights were glowing. So that was pretty cool. Um, it's a phenomenal gun. Did I safety check this? Uh, sorry if I forgot, guys. Um, this is like the fourth video I made. Uh, I just kept getting hung up, and I safety checked in all the other ones. <laughs> but there you go. There you go. Empty. Uh, phenomenal gun. The spring tension is very, very strong. Once you, uh, once you cock it, it's easier, but when, when it's not cocked that to really get it back it, you really got to move it it's so positive but it sounds great it feels phenomenal you just feel like you're holding a you know a, i don't know how to say it, but a fabulous piece of steel you know this is a work of art and uh this is one hell of a handgun i absolutely love it um right now 1911 is my favorite style gun to shoot but um i did see a Browning High Power at my gun shop. Haven't shot one yet, but I held it, and it's also amazing. You know, Browning really was, a, you know, an evil genius. So that's really all I got to say, guys. You know, I got the striations up here to reduce glare. Same with back there. Um, phenomenal gun. If I could shoot this all day, I would. If I can afford to shoot it all day, I would. But that's why I got my 9 on cheap ammo. But uh, there you go, guys. If you want to see any more uh, 1911 porn, let me know. But I uh, just kind of wanted to show you what's here. Alright, on to the next one. Hope you enjoyed it, guys.